Hello, everybody. This is April Stutzman. We got another episode here for you of Glory Stories. I'm so excited to be interviewing this special guest today to talk about the glory of God, some of the first times they experienced the presence of God, how they cultivated the presence of God, and different stories that impacted their life, whether it was transformation into glory, miracles that happened, and I want you to be a part of what this guest has to say, how they have experienced the heart of God in his presence so that you, my friend, can enjoy their story and see how you too can experience the glory and the presence of God in your everyday life. So I'd like to welcome my special guest that I'm interviewing. Hello, everybody. I'm so excited to be on here tonight and be interviewing Aaron Packard. Um, it's going to be, I can just feel the glory and the presence already. I just uh, can't wait to, to hear you guys' testimonies of people that's been touched to these interviews. I've just um, seen so much revelation come to people about the glory. I'm just excited to see what God's going to do tonight. I know the prophetic will be flowing. If you're on here live, you may get a word and, and words of knowledge may come on and, and come out of us and just flow out of us in the glory cycle that, uh, hey, Beth, I'm just going to give a minute for everybody to log on live tonight when he's talking about the glory. Hey. Hey, Aaron, how are you? Come on. I'm doing great. Thanks for having me on. I'm so excited to see what God's going to do tonight. Yeah, come on. Just, just honored that you're on. I know you and your wife are senior pastor of Gathering Revival Center in Kansas, and you and your wife do way much more than that. But I know you're going on a trip to Malawi. Is it two weeks? Uh, yeah, like it's like we're taking off in 13 days, I think. Oh, it's getting really close. Nice. Yeah, my son's going with me, so we're excited. Powerful. powerful. Come on. The glory's going to show up. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Hey, Terry, how are you? Oh, yeah, thanks for coming on. I'll give a few more minutes, so we'll keep it light for a minute, give people time to, to log in. Tell me where you're logging in from, and just uh, we're going to let the Holy Spirit do his thing. Each time I get on here, Aaron, um, what the Holy Spirit seems to be doing is just this synergy shows up. Come on. He may just, everybody's different that I've interviewed. We talk about the glory. We talk about you know, miracles, signs, wonders, and yeah. and, the, and the main reason the Holy Spirit, as you know, put this on my heart was to teach the average Christian that we can access the glory. Yeah, come so on. So we'll talk about glory stories. We'll go wherever the Holy Spirit wants to go. But before I even logged on, like he always shows me stuff about people that I'm interviewing. And because um, I just love honoring you guys, I had your wife on last week, and you, and I just love the the glory that you carry, and the, and the harvest that that evangelistic harvest. That's just yeah. my heart as a harvester. But um, ooh, I just come on the fiery glory before I before I logged on, I could just see the Jesus's eyes of glory. It's just like that fire mm. of love, and I just see that you guys carry that. Hey Monday, hey Kevin, oh, hey Monday, and Jennifer. Yeah, come on. We love those guys. We had a great weekend with them. <laughs> yeah, they're probably driving still. <laughs> bless them, Lord. Translate them. Translate them all the way back. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I could just see that fiery love, and you don't see that everywhere. And, mm. you know, we just we just say, Holy Spirit, come. Do whatever you want to do tonight. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, yeah. I already feel the glory just filled in. Man. Yeah, wow. So <laughs> if you want to just talk about um any time when you first first what was your first experience with the glory or the or the closest one you can remember oh wow i think it's a lot like <laughs> like now going back even to my childhood even before i gave my life to jesus i'm telling you he was encountering me in dreams and i didn't know what was going on at that time but really just his his presence i, I looking back i can feel it back then but uh really in uh I don't know. I, how, how crazy do we want to go? You know, <laughs> just, go for it, just, go, just go for it. Just go, I, well, what I found out is everybody can relate to everybody's story. On yeah. 
all yeah. personalities, so go for it. Yeah, and I'm telling you, all this comes through intimacy with Jesus. You yes. know, it's intimacy Amen. with the Holy Spirit. It's spending Amen. time in the Word. It's spending time in prayer. And, man, I love it. I, I love it when he just encounters us uh, in a new and a fresh way. I just, I just love that. I, just what's popping to mind right now, it's not near, nearly the first, but I know uh, Richard, uh, he really loves words of knowledge. And so uh, <laughs> yes, he does. Th this, this encounter happened, uh, I, you know, I was just hungry for the Lord and I was just watching everything mm -hmm. I could. I was reading, I was praying, I was just going after it. It's like 2.30 in the morning and I'm watching a Randy Clark uh, video <laughs> uh, and he's getting ready for this impartation and I'm like, I'm like, Lord, and, I, and just there's a shift. I can just feel this shift that's taking place. And all of a sudden, and, and I don't share this lightly for you guys that don't know, yeah. know me, uh, but, but, but a tangible, a, a purple and pink cloud came into the room. It was, an, a, it was amazing. And all I could see, I, I was looking around, and all I could see, I could, I could just through the fog, I could see Randy Clark. And, uh, mm -hmm. and, and through that time, I'm like, I'm like, man, he just, the Lord just encountered me so much during that time. <laughs> I was probably just getting, and, and I can't say, I can't say if it was three minutes or if it was, if is it, it was. Is it like in the seer realm for the people that are, this is kind I, of. I, I, will, I will say, I will say this, that, that, that it was in the natural realm. Okay. It was actually tangible Amen. and, and that doesn't happen to me. I mean, that just doesn't happen mm -hmm. very often. Um, I'll, mm -hmm. I'll see that, but I'm telling you that this, this cloud came in and I'm like, some people are like, well, 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 that's great. What ha you know, what's, what's the purpose in that? But I was probably getting, let's just say 65 to 70% correct on word of words of knowledge before that. Amen. Maybe like, maybe like, uh, maybe one or two, maybe every other week or every third week. And what happens directly after this encounter, I mean, and, and I just the impartation, I just received it. I was vibrating. It was, it was amazing. I mean, uh, but what happened after that, I, I wrote down, uh, an average of six words of knowledge, uh, for the next seven weeks uh, and, yeah. and presented them and each and every one of them were spot on and we saw yeah. people healed we saw people get freedom and the Lord had me quit taking uh, quit keeping track after that he's like he's like that's <laughs> oh. that's that's enough and and so I, I, I'm not batting anywhere from a hundred percent but through that impartation through that that encounter in the glory through that tangible touch of the Lord I went from a place of of maybe maybe getting 65 70 percent one or two maybe a week or maybe every two weeks to a place of them flowing naturally in my life. And, and that just gifting just really increased uh, from that. And when I had to steward that, I, I said, Lord, if you give me something, I'm going to, I'm going to steward that. And, and, and he gave me some crazy ones. And he, he it's, I saw my first metal miracle shortly after that. Like the Lord's like, Amen. he said, he said, you know, I, I I, he said, uh, I said, Lord, I've never seen a metal miracle. He said, but you said you would give any word of knowledge I gave you. And, and, <laughs> I love and I'm that like, about the Holy Spirit. Like, he wants all of it, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he's so, so I'm like, but Lord, I've never seen it. And, 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 and the Holy Spirit said this. He said, you'll never see a miracle that you don't go after. Yeah, and so, so th good. That, that is what it was. And I gave it. And three people actually came up with metal that night. Um, uh, a lady that, uh, had been prayed for, she, this is her words. I've been prayed for a thousand times. And I said, well, let's pray one more time. And Amen. so, uh, we, I, I laid hands on her, her knee clicked every single time she moved it. You could, you could audibly hear the click in her knee every single time. And we prayed and, uh, I, I, uh, I, I said, check your knee. And when she checked her knee, she, her face got, her jaw dropped. She goes, she goes, I've been prayed for a thousand times. I didn't even, I didn't have the faith for that. I didn't believe I was going to get healed. <laughs> so God encountered her in a way just through, through stepping out through a word of knowledge. My faith rose up, but I mean, to, to truly tell the testimony, I wouldn't say that I had great faith at that point in time. I think, I think a lot <laughs> of happens. times, yeah. yeah. It happens. There's times that I had my first medical, like you said, metal miracle. I was praying at a small group. And, uh, you know, I didn't say my faith was like 10. I was just like, let's go for it. Holy yeah, Spirit. come on. And uh, Cam courted her and her face was shocked. And you just, <laughs> it's out of uh, obedience. It's out of glory. You know, you, that's just, it. you just feel a, a, a level of God's presence that says, I don't care about the results. I'm doing what God said to do. You yeah. Know? It, well, Catherine Kuhlman said, I'm not looking for golden vessels. I'm not looking for yeah. silver vessels, but I'm looking for willing vessels. And I think, yeah. you know, he just blesses us. We find out that it's a whole lot less of us. <laughs> we just have to be obedient to what we're hearing, to what we're seeing, to what we're, you know, however the Lord's talking to us. And he just shows up in yeah. a great and mighty way. 
So if there's anybody on here, I have all walks of life in every area of, of uh, Christianity. If, if somebody's on here and hasn't heard of a word of knowledge, I'm going to tap in. So I see that little bit of a teaching mantle. On. Yeah. Come, come. So, <laughs> tap into sharing a little bit of how you, I know everybody kind of flows different in words of knowledge. What's your strongest like word of knowledge feeler touch? You want to talk about spiritual senses or anything? Yeah, we, we, we can do that. Just like we have natural senses, we all have spiritual senses, you know, and in, in Ephesians 1, it says, open the eyes of my heart. And it's not just our eyes, but it's our spiritual senses. You know, we, we need to, to tap into that realm. Sometimes uh, sometimes I see, sometimes I hear. My wife knows a lot. Sometimes I feel words of knowledge in my body. Sometimes I'll get them through a dream. I'll have a dream with a word of knowledge, I'll, I, um, uh, and, and I'll get up, and I'll call them and, and see people healed through that. And so he can encounter us in a lot of different ways. Um, you, see, uh, you see a lot, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, let me say this. You see, I, I, I hate always putting a lot behind it because yeah, we're all yeah. growing. It doesn't matter Amen. what walk we're in. I'm we're all growing. And uh, I predominantly, I'll, I'll hear and I'll see. But when I started out with words of knowledge, I would feel probably 90 percent of them because I, I believe it's that impartation that I received uh, while listening to Randy Clark. When he started out, that was where he started out was feeling in his body. And it, and it kind of progressed to the place where we would get them through dreams. Um, sometimes we can see them, a tangible word over somebody. Uh, that doesn't happen to me a lot, but it has. Uh, one time I saw a, a body scan. The Lord gave me a vision of this body, <laughs> like this body scanner going over this person. That was crazy. And I'm like, Lord, what do I do with that? <laughs> you know, I, I'm like, you're half entertained sometimes, but the, he, the, the Holy Spirit likes to have fun. He really Amen. does. And if he, he's looking for people that will just step out and just step into that. And so, you know, I, I think that, that so often um, with Beth, uh, she didn't know that she was knowing. I think she talked about that a yeah, little bit with you. To, yeah, it was awesome. And a lot of times people just think they're, they're really smart, but I'm telling you that there's a wisdom <laughs> and a revelation that comes through the Holy Spirit Amen. that you just can't tap into. And so um, those are predominantly the ways that, that, that I get them. But lately, I've been getting more and more through dreams and through yeah. visions. And so um, I like to tap into that. Richard, we, need to, we have to have him on here to teach about that. I know he can go for hours on words of knowledge, man. I love, I love that about him. Uh, oh, man. I just, Lord, I just ask that you continue just to build the glory on here. I just, I just feel waves coming at us. Come on. So, so what you described, that an encounter that you had with the glory, it was one that impacted how you served in, in the assignments that God has given you. So what would you say is some of the prices that, that you've paid? Instead of like we see people getting jealous of other people's gift and we see, you know, unfortunately, like divisions or comparison. Yeah. We all have access to it. So yeah. what they come just teaching on is, you know, you can have as much as you want. Just come on. Cultivate it. That's so right. Just speak about some of the sacrifices you've made to kind of cultivate God's presence and intimacy. Yeah, I'll say this this first, uh, honoring other members of the body of Christ. When you yeah. honor them, you don't even have to sow into them. You don't have to, you can you can serve their ministry and you can receive that impartation. Yeah. If you instead of getting jealous, just honor that. And I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm like I, I like suck the glory out of the room. If I see a miracle, I'm like, Lord, you're no, you're no respect for a person. You'll do that for me. And he'll start <laughs> and, and it doesn't matter if it's a metal, metal miracle. It doesn't matter if it's, if, it's, if it's people starting to see atmospheric miracles, whatever it is. I'm just like, Lord, if you'll do it for them, you'll do it for me. And, and so, but, uh, but really for me, the Lord has used uh, uh, fasting has is, is been a big thing for me. Uh, the biggest thing is obedience. But fasting, uh, the Lord has used uh, a fast. Hey, Eric Austin, man, I love you, bro. <laughs> Hey May Sammy, have... hey Eric. <laughs> We're uh uh, but but that's one re one realm that the Lord is really, and I don't even call it uh, fasting on the Lord anymore. It's feasting on the Lord. It's really not about Amen. what you're not partaking of, but it's just partaking. It's that intimacy. It's spending that time. And we're talking about the glory and we're talking about these things. But there's a time when I was growing where I was I was seeing just maybe a few people, maybe just a few people healed and not very many. And now we're seeing a great increase. Like like I'm not I haven't arrived by any means, but I'm seeing increasing fruit each year, each season. And that's what we're going yeah. for. And so it doesn't matter where we're at right now. It matters where we're going. But I was in a place where I was reading 50 chapters a day. I was devouring the word. I was spending time in prayer. I was waiting on the Lord. 
Uh, you know, I was stirring myself up in the most holy faith, praying in the Amen. Holy Ghost for hours Amen. and hours and hours. Preach I'm it. telling you, there's wisdom and revelation. When you when you pray in the Spirit, there is wisdom and revelation that's unlocked. There's th something mm -hmm. that happens if you if you'll get into a realm. And I'm telling you what, there's times when I'm like, my mind is like, my natural mind is like, what are you doing? This is a <laughs> a absolute utter waste I of get time. It, man. And then I'll open my Bible, and then scriptures will be coming together all of a sudden that I didn't have any revelation about. Amen. And so it's really a cultivation of the Word and the Spirit together, Amen. and that's where we're going to see the great increase. And so uh, that's for me. I, I like to keep a, a great—I don't even like to keep it a balance because it's not a balance. It's just devouring all of Him. Uh, yeah. a, a person that we Amen. both know, he says, he calls it, I like to devour—I I want to devour the whole lamb. I don't want to pick and choose the parts yeah. that I want that I say, man, I really like this. That's not my favorite manifestation. I don't necessarily want to see that. I say, Lord, I want whatever you want, whatever, however you want. If you want to bring it, if you want to heal headaches, I want to heal headaches. If you want to go after cancer yeah. tonight, let's go after cancer tonight. If you want to, if you want to people yeah. laid out on the floor and nobody, nobody can even talk and you minister, that's what I love. I tell people, if I'm rolling around on the ground, don't touch me. Leave me where I'm at. You know, I'm having a good time. You do what you need to do. And so, uh, you know, I mean, that's what it is. But for me, it comes from the, from the word and the spirit. It comes from devouring the word. It comes from, from spending that time in prayer uh, in the secret place. And that's where we're truly being transformed into that exact same image, the very image of Christ. And so, you know, I mean, it's a pretty awesome image. He's got eyes of fire, feet of burnished Amen. bronze, a voice Amen. of many waters. Double-edged sword sticking out of his mouth, and his face is shining like the sun. So I'm okay with that. I say yes to that. You know. <laughs> Amen. It's just so funny that sometimes I'll, I'll I switch from seeing, knowing, feeling. It's like whenever I get comfortable one way, he totally turns it into yeah. a different way. <laughs> yeah. Did he do that to you? But, Absolutely. Um, even at, at, it's so wild. Like I, I can see in the spirit, and you know, you see what the Holy Spirit wants you to see. You know, we're yeah. not doing this through anything but Jesus. That's Christ. right. That's right. You know, Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the light. You know, and I just yeah. if anybody that's on here and you don't know Jesus. And yeah. you're just kind of wondering, what are they talking about? The glory? What is yeah. that? Just say, Jesus, I, I don't know you, but I, I want to just invite you in my heart. Make yourself real to me. I just believe you died on the cross. Just, yeah. just show me this glory. I just want to feel your presence. Because I believe there's some aspects of the glory where you just come like a child. Yeah. So, um, what the Holy Spirit told me is just to have you speak on hunger. Oh, Talk wow. About how hunger affects the glory. Yeah. If you hunger and thirst for righteousness, you will be filled. And I'm telling you, a friend of mine says, sometimes you have to take the first bite. And I'm telling you what, it's the same thing. Sometimes you don't feel like uh, getting into the word, but you get into the word and revelation starts flowing. And you get so much of a hunger. You start. It's different. When you eat in the natural, you get full. But I'm telling you, when you start eating in the spiritual, it's it's expanding the wineskin. It's increasing your capacity to carry the glory. And so that once that hunger creates more hunger, and that uh, that hunger and the thirst continues to increase. Sometimes I don't feel like praying in the spirit, but once I start doing that, I'm telling you, uh, it, it's it's so powerful when we decide. It's like obedience is better than sacrifice. And yet when we sacrifice, when we don't feel like doing those things, there's an amazing thing that comes in that Holy Spirit meets us every time. And Man, I, I don't know. I, for, for me, I got to such a place. Uh, it wasn't about what I wasn't seeing. It wasn't a condemnation thing. But I, I started praying for people and such compassion was coming out of me that I was I was I was I was crying because I wasn't Amen. seeing the cancer flee. I wasn't Amen. seeing all, every single person I prayed for get healed and delivered. And and uh, I came out. Uh, the Lord set me free from alcohol. And I'm telling you what, I've got a heart Amen. for people that are dealing with that. There's a place in the spirit where we pray and decree and that spirit of addiction is broke off and they're going to walk away from that. That's what the Lord, he broke it like that for me. Yeah. And if he'll do it for me. Why but don't I, you just break that right yeah, now? Yeah, right now. I just release that right now. The spirit of addiction, we just speak against you right now. I just say the sword of the Lord against you right now. We break off all addiction right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I just thank you. Holy Spirit, we just ask you. To, there's no time and there's no distance in the spirit. I thank you for invading them right now in their houses right now spirit of addiction we break you right now in jesus name holy spirit i just thank you for coming in and filling those places filling those places right now in each and every person that's dealing with that right now we just can we say it's broke right now we decree and declare it finished in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus amen 
Amen, amen. So yeah, you were just talking about the hunger and, and how much we, we have to hunger for the things of God. And like you said, the righteousness, you know, he just, he gives us what we, what we, what's the word? It's almost like when you come so intimate with the Holy Spirit, he, you may be going through this season. Let me know if you relate. But it's like every dead place in your heart comes alive. Oh. And, and you don't even know. Yeah. It. Yeah. Glory. Oh. The glory exchanging for every wound, mm. every heartache, yeah. every pain, and like every root system, like everything yeah. just, it's like total transformation because the word says we go from glory to glory. Yeah, I think that makes you even more hungrier. Does oh, that make you just even more hungrier. Yeah, because that's what propels us in our destiny. Sometimes we, you know, I had a time in my life where the Lord did not like He was dealing with me, and I'll just say I was dealing with me on pride, and uh, He had me take a job as a custodian, as a fancy word for janitor, at an elementary <laughs> school, and I was cleaning. You were in Holy Spirit school. You I was. Know it. I was in Holy <laughs> Spirit school, and uh, I'm telling you, I didn't want to deal with the pride issue that I had. And uh, the Lord's like, uh, uh, the first day on the job, I'm uh, I, the special needs kid uh, you know, made a mess in the bathroom. And there were six paras, people that were helping in there, ladies. And I was down cleaning <laughs> stuff everywhere. And I was like visibly not like it, it was, I, I, had, a, I had issues. <laughs> I did it. Yeah, I was getting so much freedom in that. But then like the, the next day uh, at this small school, I was homecoming king and all this stuff. And I walk out with this toilet brush and this, uh, this uh, toilet cleaner to walk around from the janitor closet to the bathroom. Someone I know comes in. I dive back into this, to this janitor's closet and get, I literally lock the door. I'm not kidding you. <laughs> I lock the door. And so I've locked myself in my own, and pride has locked myself in my own prison. Wow. And, and, and I become a prisoner to pride. And the Lord just so gently, so <laughs> lovingly, after I've told him I don't have a pride issue. You ever argue with the Lord? I've learned not to do that anymore. It but work, it, it, it? Sometimes it fades out. It should be back any second now. So we're just talking about pride and he's sharing as, as God allowed him to work as a custodian it sometimes it just fades out we just put a wall of fire in the glory holy ghost we just speak to the airwaves we just command it to to work but uh he's just talking about how the lord set him free and uh how I was can you hear me now yeah i can it, it, i can hear you now can you hear me fades. yeah i can hear you we just yeah 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 go right back into it so you're hiding yeah. in the closet you're arguing with god <laughs> I was locked in my own prison of pride. Let's not sugarcoat this. And Holy Spirit so gently comes in and says, says, do you want to deal with that pride issue now? And I said, yes. And I served there for five years. And it was really my school. What you said, I was in Holy Spirit, Spirit school. I learned how to hear from the Lord. I super, he supernaturally through that taught me. Uh, I didn't know anything but how to check my email at the time. And he taught me how to, to work on computers. Like the, the technology director didn't... Uh, didn't know how to. Am I okay with this? I feel like I keep rambling on with 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 yeah, stories. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Uh, go for and it. I didn't even know how to yeah, hardly check my email, and uh, so uh, the the technology director couldn't keep up. And a, an elementary school teacher came. She says, "Can do you know anything about computers? Can you fix my computer?" And I was wanting to. I was learning to hear the Lord's voice. I said, eh, "I don't know, but I'm going to sit down and ask the Lord and see what happens." And so. Uh, I mean, this is cultivating. This is a hunger. I was hungry. I, it, it didn't matter. I was like, Lord, here I am. Here I am. And, and so uh, yeah. so what happened yeah. was uh, through, I didn't know the Christianese back then. I didn't know I was getting words of knowledge and words of wisdom. I fixed the uh -huh. first, first computer off of just hearing the Lord's voice. Go to the second computer, the third computer. It turns into the whole elementary school. They tell, asked me to come out to the high school um, and uh, still just, just asking the Lord how to fix these computers and uh, the next year, they go to the technology director had left, and they were hiring a new one. And uh, they needed two years of experience and uh, two years of, of schooling, which neither I had. And uh, they ended up, giving, on, they ended up giving me the job. And I needed, I, I needed more money. Or my family did at the time. And, and the Lord blessed me with no experience, just hearing the Holy Ghost, words of knowledge, oh, words of wisdom. And that's how, that's how I learned to hear the Lord's voice. They paid me to work on computers. <laughs> so, you know, 
I mean, you, you think about he wants to encounter us. And I mean, we can talk. I can tell you just amazing uh, miracles, signs, wonders. But this is where it's at. It's in the day to day. It's in the it's in stewarding it from day to day where we're going to see that consistent increase. We're going to see the, the continual propelling forward into uh into our destiny because we none of us want to be uh have firework uh lives we don't want to have firework ministries that just blow up and an amazing gifting with no glory yeah with come on market market techniques have have took out the presence of god no thank you (laughs) yeah and so 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 that so that's it we i mean with that hunger and that thirst that's what keeps us i mean that's what that's what that's what propels me in when i see people that aren't getting set free when i see people that have been in the situations that i have and i know that the that the very presence everything that they need is in the presence of god and in the very glory of god and we're containers of his glory I'm telling you that, that he's just Amen. looking for people Appreciate that will just leak everywhere they go, that will change atmospheres everywhere they go. I'm telling you Amen. that 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 uh, when Richard uh, messaged me today, it was at 420. You know, the kingdom of God is not Amen. of talk, but of power, of demonstration Amen. and power. Appreciate. And and that's that's it. I don't want I don't want people's faith to be in the wisdom of men, but in the demonstration and power of the Holy Spirit. And we need people to rise up in the workplace. You don't have to be. You don't have to have a mic in a ministry. I mean, go Amen. to work and just and just Amen. and just Preach and just uh, take back dominion. I mean, shine shine bright everywhere you go. And that's what I love about God's presence. Whatever you need is found in God's presence. That's right. Like yeah. You said you know I work at the hospital and. I've prayed for coworkers Come on. and they've gotten healed, you know, and I've prayed for people and, and just let Holy Spirit have its way. But uh, it, it's just wild how the the hunger and the thirst for the righteousness and the seeking, he wow. said he's a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. And I just feel a hunger, like people are pulling on this webinar right now. Mm. And Lord, I just ask that you fill their mouth and fill yeah. them with revelation and fill them with the glory. They hunger and thirst for what we're talking about. They maybe they've never experienced the glory before yeah. in their life. They maybe they've never experienced the Father's love. And Come on. I just see the Lord, even through the glory right now, I see wounds of abandonment being washed away right yeah. now. Yeah. So if you're crying right now, just, just just allow the Holy Spirit. He didn't abandon you. Maybe somebody did. And I just repent for whoever did you wrong. I stand in the gap and I just repent for them. And I just thank you, Holy Spirit, that you're washing over every wound of abandonment right now, all wounds of rejection. I just see the Holy Spirit and the glory just touching rejection. Just receive it. Just receive the acceptance, and uh, maybe you're, you're asking God, what is this glory? And when you read, read in the Old and New Testament, there's so many scriptures about the glory, but the ones I like to stand on, because they just make sense to me, is Ezekiel 44.4. Come on. The glory filled the temple. Yeah. And, you know, in 1 Corinthians 3.16, we it says we are the temple. We are yeah. the temple, and the glory That's right. is to fill us. It's Come on. to help us to our assignments. I, did, I just feel people have unfulfilled assignments on this web, yeah. on this uh, Facebook live right now. So Lord, we just call them into alignment to their assignments. We just, yeah. we just come together in, the, in unity. You said we're two or more. Agree. Yeah. It shall be done. And Lord, I just ask that you increase the presence in their life. That yeah. they worship you. That they cultivate you. I know when me and you went to Africa, you know, one of my gifts is discerning. And, and yeah. sometimes it's I discerning love it. my I discern with my nervous system, like my whole body. It's, it's a gift of the Holy Spirit, discerning yeah. the spirits. But one of the strategies he gave me, because the atmosphere there was to worship all through the streets in Africa. Yeah. To keep the glory rolling. Yeah. You know? So if you want to just talk a minute, talk about how much worship and, and just worship in the Lord allows mm. the glory to build. Man, I tell you what, that's 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 where it's at. I, I mean, eat for hours and hours, I can get lost and lost. In, I don't strum a guitar well, but I'm telling you, I love to worship the Lord. I love to minister to the Lord. The Lord loves to be ministered to. He set a whole Amen. priesthood aside to, to specifically minister to Amen. him. And so b- before we ever go out, before we ever do anything, before we ever have any, uh, we shouldn't have any ambitions. But before we go after anything, we should go after ministering to the Lord. And I'm telling Amen. you, that's Appreciate that's where it. I am transformed. I am transformed from Amen. glory to glory. I will get into such a, uh, uh, 
I don't even want to say it, but this is what the Lord said. Such a drunken presence of the Lord. I will drink so deeply of the Holy Spirit while I'm worshiping, while I'm ministering to him. It, it, his presence just overwhelms me. He overshadows me. It's, we know that he never leaves us or forsakes us, forsakes us. We know that he's omnipresent, but he comes upon us in a way that is just so unique to us. And he doesn't have to do it the same for you as he does for me. But I'm telling you, I get such a heavy, weighty glory on that I can't, that I get to a place that I can't even minister. But during that time, it says, sing to the Lord a new song. And during Amen. those times that I start singing in the spirit and the new song comes out and decrees and declaration, they start setting free your family, your neighborhood, your region, the nations, and even the world just through the new song that you're singing, that you're ministering to the Lord. And there's breakthrough Amen. that are coming through to your region, through your neighborhood. You're declaring the, the goodness of the Lord to, to the darkness and the darkness can't comprehend the light and it has to flee. And I'm telling you, just through worship just through ministering to the Lord. That is one of the places where I've been transformed the most. I mean, there's some days I used to spend six hours a day just worshiping the Lord. I would, until my, couldn't even, my throat could not even sing anymore. I would just, I, I would just, I would have to, I would have such a hunger. There was times that I would have to even, uh, that, that such a hunger would come upon me that, that I couldn't but speak in tongues for, 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 for like three days. One time it came on me and Beth is like, what are you doing? I'm sitting there having a conversation and I can't help, but just, I'm just going and going and going. There's such a hunger because I just kept, I, I there was an insatiable hunger. They just, kept, I was, uh, uh, just continually being filled and just releasing Amen. and continually being filled as we minister to the Lord. And so that's a key right there yeah. to the glory. Come on. Talk about that. Talk about how pouring out, you know, um, pouring out on, on places he tells you to pour out. There's also wisdom and pouring out, not yeah. pouring out places. Yeah. He tells you not yeah. to pour it out. You yeah. talk about you know, <laughs> Sometimes sometimes it's a school of hard knocks while we're figuring yeah. these things out, too. And so don't feel bad if you mess up. Just, hey, we'll try it again tomorrow. You know, I mean, there's a lot of these things, these miracles, these things that we're seeing. Is we're just, I, for no better word, we're, he, we're, 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 just, we're just trying, we're, we're experiencing, we're pressing in for more of him. We're really just, just, just playing around, having a good time with the Holy Spirit, and he loves us and wants to encounter us in those ways. But I, I'm, I'm telling you that there, we, freely we receive, freely we give. And so the Amen. things that we have, when, when we freely receive that glory that comes upon us, freely we give. And it says, uh, Jesus told them, uh, let your peace go out uh, uh, upon a house. And if they don't receive the house, uh, t let it return upon you. And, uh, you know, I think about that. Everywhere we go, we need to release the peace. We need to release the glory. Amen. But if it returns to us, and that's the key is knowing when it returns to us. And, and Noah is that perfect picture. He released the dove. And, and when the dove came back, it wasn't received. The land wasn't ready to receive it yet. The people weren't ready. You know, if we can do that, we can say that correlation. The people weren't ready to receive it. He sent the dove out again. It came back. But then the dove remained. And I'm telling you what, that's what we do. We, we, there's wisdom and there's, we, have to, we have to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. There's times, Amen. but I'm telling you, there's times where he says, okay, this is direct marching orders. But I'm telling you, there's times when I walk into a room and just, just by, just by, I'm, I'm not doing anything special. I walk into the room and the presence of God, I've seen cancer healed through walking into a room Amen. and people start to weep just by Amen. releasing the glory, just like by, by releasing the very presence of God. I walked into this room and uh, I was just out helping some people paint uh, one day and just loving on them and their son came. And uh, so uh, from, from about 200 miles away and was visiting and I walk into the room and I don't say anything. I sat down and I was just, just kind of just asking the Lord what was going on. And he just started weeping. He was just weeping. And so after about 10 minutes, I, I was just asking, Holy Spirit, what are you wanting to do? And uh, he was just weeping. I said, what's going on, man? And he says, he says, the presence of God, the holiness of God is just in this room. And, and I, I didn't, we didn't pray. We didn't do anything. We walked into the room and, and it's not, it's Christ in us, the hope of glory, the mystery revealed. It's not Aaron Packard. It's Christ in me that leaks each and every one of us are carriers of the very presence and glory. He's just looking for some people that want to leak. He's wanting to, you know, we're ambassadors of the King. He's looking for some people to just, to just be ministers of reconciliation everywhere we go to represent him everywhere we go. And so the Lord had me pray for his family and, and break off some stuff. And uh, his wife uh, had six, less than six months to live, had cancer. And um, 
And two weeks later, I get the report after we prayed that it, doctor verified no cancer found in the body. And Amen. she was, she was, it, it's neat because he was in the room. The presence of God was hitting him, but the healing, the healing anointing went over 200 miles away and she was, she, she was healed of cancer. And so there's no time and there's no distance in the spirit. The very presence yeah. of, of God, it, it, we're not, he's not, he's not relegated to time. He's not relegated to distance. He's just Amen. looking for some people to just believe who he, believe that he is who he says that he is. And <laughs> that's it. Wow. It's just, it's just honoring and loving it. And the Holy Spirit gave me three different things to touch on while you were talking. That's what I love about Holy Spirit. Come on. You know, it doesn't matter what it, what we need. He he knows. Yeah. So that, yeah. a lot of what we're talking about, even with cultivating the presence of God and the glory of God and worshiping God. You know, one of the things I did when I was tapping into the glory and learning wow. what it meant was just, um, whoa, or it was just, um, Allowing the, the presence of God to just let me just sit there yeah. and just write down what I've seen. And so, so you guys, right now, we just release the glory yeah. over you in yeah. unity. We just release the glory over you. And it just fill your room. Yeah. And just I just see infirmity being broke off right now. We just yeah. command that spirit of infirmity that's afflicting you. It, it, I see trauma and stress being lifted off in the glory just call yeah. out whatever you see Aaron total freedom I see um right now Lord mm. what are you lifting off thank you Lord I, I just keep... see heaviness you see yeah. heaviness yeah. Come I just on. see heaviness Come on. going off and and Lord, you know, I just felt the grace tonight for supernatural weight loss. Woo come on. on, come on, come so on. We just come together in unity come on. and we release that in unity, Lord, that, that heaviness. Yeah. Lord, we just say, let let your Holy Spirit just break off yeah. every uh, food addiction, every heaviness. Yes, right now in Jesus' every, name. Um, even I, I just, I have to be obedient to Holy Spirit. I see yeah. you breaking off a wound from molestation. Come on. Just let that come, come off of you right yeah, now. Right now. In, in the glory. Name. May the weight of that thing just come off of you. And Lord, for those that are pulling on and believe for supernatural signs and wonders of weight loss, we just declare, Lord, chisel it away, Lord. Right now. Right now. Right now in the name of Jesus. Yeah, and that trembling on that heart. I think it's that fear you touched on, that trembling on, of that heart. I felt it two or three times since we've been on. Yeah, so okay. we just speak to hearts right now. We just speak to Thank hearts you. right now. Just be made yeah, whole amen. right now. Just every single beat, there's life in the blood, there's health in the blood. I just thank you that with every pump that the blood of Jesus is going through their hearts right now, right now in Jesus' name. And all trauma, we just speak from trauma from, from past accidents Come right on. now. Every single cell in their bodies right now, be back to your created value in Jesus' name yeah. right now. I see it in, in somebody's Jesus neck. Name. I see trauma Come on. hiding in somebody's Come neck. On. Lord, we just command creative order to that neck. Yeah. We just command disc, vertebrae, ligaments back right to now. creative order. Right now, Jesus right now, name. Jesus we just name. declare it to grow out in divine order. <sighs> Everywhere where the cartilage is right now, we just say Holy Ghost cartilage right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's type, hips type, yeah, that's what I was just gonna say. Is hips? <laughs> that's it. That's hips. If it, type this in, if this is you, type it in. Keep going. Type it in, yeah, though, guys. Keep if this going. is you. I just, I just see hips aligning right now. If yeah. you're having lower back pain, or we just come in unity and we command yeah, right the now. hips to be totally right now, aligned Jesus in name. the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus name, right now. Thank Whoa. You, Lord. Yeah. Whoa. Ugh. And I felt that earlier when we were speaking about the harvest. If that's you, again, we'll mention that. If you if you if you're being drawn into what we're talking about, you're saying I want to yeah. know this Jesus. I'm telling you, just it's in the believing right now. Just type in if that happens to be you and you're on here. Just be bold and say, hey, I want to give my life to Jesus. If that's you, Amen. type it in. I felt that before we came on today. I felt yeah. like there was going to be someone that watched this who was going to be drawn into the very presence and glory of God. So we just say encounter people in their homes right now. Ooh. Encounter just, those people right now. Yeah, go. Yeah. I just see a father wound, and that's the reason why you haven't accepted Jesus. Come on. Because your father was Come rude, on. crude, abusive, maybe oh, just Jesus. emotionally negative. I just repent for your father right yeah. now. Come on. For every way Jesus. he didn't encourage you, yeah. every way he, he maybe he uh, falsely spoke evil of yeah. you. I just cut those word curses off of you right now. In Lord, Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. And yeah. I just say, Come to the heavenly yeah. father. Yeah. I just ask that the, the presence of God just say, Jesus, come into my heart right now. 
and just let him take Lord take the pain. I just see the Father lifting up somebody's pain in their heart. Yeah. Where their father yeah. was so um, just horrible to him. I don't know how yeah. to put it. I just feel yeah. the weight of your emotional pain of that right now. So I just, God, just touch them. Just let the glory wash over that. Just say, Jesus, come yeah. to my heart, Dad. You're different. I want to know you. I don't even know what a daddy means. And any bitterness or anger or resentment come on. you have yeah. not having a dad. Yeah. Just break it off right now. Any unforgiveness. Just say, yeah. I renounce it. I forgive right my now, earthly Jesus, father. Man. You know, maybe your dad was wounded. I'll share this because I'm just real. It's just who I am. You know, my dad had been through so much stuff, and I want to honor him, but he was so traumatized and abused himself, and I won't even go to everything he experienced in his life. But maybe that's why your dad, I'm sharing this for a reason, maybe that's why your dad just didn't love you the way he should have. Maybe he was totally broken and shattered. Maybe, you know, he had just been through so much. I just asked you, just, and if you if you even don't even have to drink, ask for Jesus. Just yeah. say, Father, yeah. make, make yourself known to me over the next few weeks. Yeah. Put people on my path. Yeah. Allow Jesus to, to help me forgive. Yeah. Well, help, I need your help. I need your grace. I need your power, your glory to help me forgive. Yeah. Come on. Thank you. Come on. Thank and, you, Jesus. And Jody, we speak to your back right now. Be Amen. healed right now in Jesus' name. All trauma, leave that back. We just thank yeah, you for thank a realigning you. of that back right now. <laughs> In Jesus' name, and we speak to even even any height loss from this. We just say we just speak to that trauma right now. We just speak growth back into it. Be restored right now in Jesus' name, and check your back. Check your back and type it in. And Donna, and Donna, we 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 speak to that hip. We speak to that right hip right now. Right now in Jesus' name, we speak health and life into that hip right now. All trauma leave. All pain. We curse that pain in that hip and command it to flee. A spirit of infirmity, we command you to leave that hip right now and never return in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus I even name. see like a, a pinched nerve like sciatica. Come on. Right now, I just command that, that nerve, that, that swelling yeah. right now to be released right now. Come on. Right now. Show oh, man, come on. I see the Holy Ghost just doing back surgery on somebody right now, the lower back. Right now we complain we just com command all inflammation, all pain, all affliction, all infirmity that's hiding in your back right now from an old trauma to be broken. Yeah, off. right now. Right now in Jesus' yes. name. Yes. Last time I was on Facebook Live, I saw four people healed. And I'm believing. Type it in. That's going to grow faith in the room. I'm telling you right now. Amen. Type those in right now. Check your back. Check your hip. Yes. And I'm seeing just shoulders. If that's you. Yeah, there it is. Shoulder pain. It just popped up as I said it. Right shoulder pain. Amen. We just command that shoulders yes. to be healed Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank All you, pain Jesus. leave right now. Just I just say it's complete you, movement, complete restoration in that shoulder Amen. right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Check that shoulder out. Move it. Do something that you couldn't yeah. do. Amen. Do something that you couldn't do right now in Jesus' name. Shoot. I even see the Lord healing eyesight. Maybe you've been leaving Come not on. to have contacts. So just put your hands on your <laughs> eyes and just say, Lord, I she, just release. Yeah. Just receive the glory over my eyes yeah. right now. If that's you, just, just come and just let us know what yeah. the Lord is doing. Come on. If you just feel him touching your eyes, Lord, we just declare 2020 creation yes. in the eyes right yes. now. And in yes. the name of Jesus. Donna just testified there's fire in her no right hip pain. and there's no pain in her hip. Amen. And no back pain, too. Come on. Two <laughs> healings right Jesus. now. Come on. Check that shoulder on. Check that shoulder out. That's two healings. Keep testifying, guys. Come on. If God will do it for one person, he'll do it for you. He's no respecter Amen. of persons. Grab your healing right now. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Man, the power Amen. of the Lord is present to heal right now. I love it. Woo! Thank you, Lord. Come on. <laughs> Woo! Thank you, Holy thank you, Lord. Spirit. We just, we just thank you for what you're doing, Jesus. And and that's yeah. what, if you're just logging in, we're just talking about the glory and just praying and whatever God's showing us. But I feel like it's a good time to tell you, Aaron, while, while we were talking, I could see like an angel of courage behind you. It's like when it comes around, you you, uh, you just feel a boldness. <laughs> I, I, I had never seen it before, you know, because I know we were all, like, me and your wife and my husband were all yeah. in Africa together. But I just see like this angel of courage. It's pretty cool. Wow. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Come on. And it really is. There's times when, 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 when sometimes a, maybe a gifting comes on, but there's sometimes when that assistance comes on that, and that, that boldness does come upon me. 
Because I'm telling yeah. you, the righteous are bold yeah. as a lion. And I love, I love, I love That's co-laboring with the angels. It's, it's amazing. That's where we see the realms of signs, wonders, and miracles just really break out. We just speak over Steve's phone right now. He said his left leg is still broke after eight months. Oh, wow. wow. Come on. <laughs> yeah, spirit <laughs> of infirmity, get out. A, a new bone. Yeah, right now. In heaven, right now. Right now. We just command restoration to that bone. We just command. If we can see Jesus turn metal into a yeah. bone, we can Yeah, come on. Bone go back into bone. That's right. Come on. We just. We just right come now. in agreement, command that bone to be completely restored. Right now in, in Jesus' name. Jesus. As we're praying, if you feel fire, if you feel heat, if you feel the presence of God, just type in what you're feeling over a body part, and we'll just keep interviewing and just release whatever the Lord shows us. But uh, are, are you in? A, is he in a hard cast or is he in a soft cast? I'm just curious. Did, can he type that in? If he, is he is he still in a cast? What, what type of cast is he Steve, still in? Tell us if you're in a. Cast, soft cast, hard cast. We want you to be able to test it out. Was that Steve Pickle? Was that Steve uh, Pickle? I think so. Yep, Steve Pickle. Oh man, that's a blast from the past. I love you, brother. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. See that we we just seen. Uh, uh, I seen multiple people hurt for, uh, from trauma and from injuries from automobile accidents. If I remember correctly, that's a motorcycle accident. If I if I'm remembering right, walking, walking with a cane right now. Yeah, I just thank you for that healing right now. I just thank you that in faith that you can start start trying that leg out. Just start start trying that leg out. We just speak the fire of God strength. over yeah, that leg strength. right now in Lord. Jesus' name. Yeah, strength Lord. in strength. Jesus' name. I just thank you, Lord, right now. I thank you for the for the for the three healings we've had testified for already. I thank you for what you'll do for them. You, you'll do for Steve. I just speak that over him right now in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And Lord, I just I just feel that grace for thyroids, Lord. Come on. Everybody's on here with, with thyroid medication. Lord, we just we just break any generational curse that could have brought that iniquity on the bloodline. I've seen a lot of curses bring thyroid issues. So I just break that yeah. in the name of Jesus. Come on. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. In the name of Jesus Christ. I just command life and health to your thyroid. I command all your TSH levels to be normal. Yeah. To wow. Be normal. Wow. Creative order. If you guys are feeling this, if you're feeling the presence of God, just type that type that in right now. There's no time and distance in the spirit. I'm feeling a strong, a weighty presence right now. Wow. Yes, thank you, Lord. How how you doing, Steve? Are you testing out that leg? Just just let us know how you're doing. Um, we'll keep calling out words and knowledge, but uh, talk about. There's two things you touched on. The Holy Spirit wants me to bring up about. There's two, there's many things that can hinder the glory, but the two that, that the Holy Spirit's touching on that you touched on, talk about how pride or offense can oh. stop the glory. <laughs> just yeah. Man. Yeah. If you get anything, just keep going. I'm, I'm telling you that, that it, it's, it says that, a, that an offended brother <laughs> is harder to get back than a gated city. I'm misquoting that a little bit right now, but I'm Preach telling you, it. offense. Offense is, is a horrible thing, and, and the enemy wants to come in, and especially, uh, you know, in churches, there's people, there's even whole divisions that are coming in in the body of Christ uh, because of the, the spirit of offense comes in. And I'm telling you right now, in this season, we can choose not to be offended. We yeah. don't have to be offended. And I'm telling you what, if that spirit of offense has came on you, if you find yourself uh, being offended, I'm telling you that forgiveness Forgive them. Even if it wasn't Amen. your fault, I'm telling you, forgiveness and pleading the blood of Jesus over that situation will not only free you, but it will free them. And I'm telling you what, most of the time when we're offended, we may be, people walk around with offense for decades and the other person doesn't even know what happened. They don't even have a clue. And they're just sitting there having, living a good life. And the only person that's hurting is you. And so I'm telling you right now, we can choose, we can choose to forgive. We want to walk in the fruit of the Spirit, I'm telling you. If it's not love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, meekness, goodness, and self-control, we don't want it. We don't want it. We Amen. want the fruit of the Spirit in our life so we can choose to forgive. It. Yeah. Not worth missing out on the glory. I, <laughs> I'm telling you what, there, there, there's times where I, I have seen it stop in my own life. I had, I had a, a offense come up in a relationship from a fatherly wound, and the God has completely restored that restoration even back better than it was before. And it took me Come being on. humble and going to that person. Scripturally, we go to those people. If we can, we go to those people and we ask for forgiveness for those times that we've been offended. And I tell you what, through that, the devil got kicked in the teeth. And I'm telling you what, uh, uh, some the, 
some of the people that, that, that are one of the first people that uh, I was offended with is my biggest, one of my biggest supporters I, cheering for me uh, louder than anyone else. I'm telling you what, it's not worth it. I, we're brothers and sisters. We need to rejoice yeah. when, when, when April's telling a testimony. I'm not jealous. I'm like, yes, Lord. You know, I don't let it get jealous about it. I'm, if I get jealous, it's like, Lord, I need it in my life. I'm excited because we're all one body and we're, we're one part of the body. It, it rejoices. Amen. We all rejoice. If she has a success or if anyone else has a success, we're all successful. Amen. It's one body. Amen. And, Amen. I yeah. love that. And, and it's growing in it. But I, one of the areas, I know Steve keeps said he feels the spirit. So, Lord, we just continue to speak yeah, over that right bone now. in his leg. We just command it to grow. In the name of Jesus Christ, we just command creative order to that leg. Just let the fire, healing power of God fall on that leg and bring yeah. it into restoration. In Jesus' name. But I had to give it to Katie Sozo's ministry on offense, man. Come on. Because one of the things I have to share on here is, is just like is she talked so much on that. When every time you get offended, you wound your own soul. Yeah. Come on. Every single Come time. On. Then you have to heal it to get back in the glory. So, you know, whatever you got to do, get in your prayer calls. And forgive quickly and move yeah. on. You know, just let the glory do Holy Ghost surgery. Yeah. Talk about any of that. Well, that, that's what I love about about you, you and Richard, that you guys carry that not only that 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 breaker anointing, that healing anointing, but you also see the place where they where the inner healing needs to take place, those mm -hmm. spots. And so I honor that, you know, in you guys, you really have a, have an authority in that realm. And so uh, it's beautiful. And and uh, mm -hmm. I, I'm looking to grow more and more in that. You know, we're seeing you know miracle signs, wonders, amazing things. But so many people are walking around. For, I love watching prayer lines, and I love I love to see, you know, shoulders, knees, metal miracles, blind eyes, deaf Amen. ears. Amazing. But I'm telling you, some of the things that we cannot see, that we can only see through the discerning of spirits, that the Holy Spirit would reveal that to us, those are some of the biggest wounds that people are walking around for. Just this weekend, we saw a major breakthrough uh, from, from 40 years, a, a lady wow. carrying around something for 40 years that she got set free from. It was amazing. Woo! <laughs> Come on. I love that. Love that. Well, I know I, I wanted you to be able to share, too. I know when we went to Africa and Kenya together, it was so awesome. Such a glory there. So just share, like, one of your favorite testimonies. I, I know I've heard it, but other people on here probably want to hear a little bit about. Uh, we just released the glory right now. <laughs> so let's just release the yeah, glory. Yeah, right, right now. Right now. In we the just, name just... of Jesus, just touch, just heal. We yeah. just call out. Creative yeah, people, right now. Whatever they need right now. If you need shoulder, back. Yeah, right now in Jesus' you know, name. Um, you know, uh, alignments. Wow. You just call out alignments wow. right now. If you need prayer for like any specific healing, just just type it in right yeah. now. We haven't called yeah, it. Yeah, we, we've seen three he three healed already. If God will do it for them, he'll do it for you. Yeah, the yeah, testimony of Jesus is a, a spirit of prophecy. Almost like carpal tunnel. Right Come on. Now. If that's you, just say it's me because I, I feel like you have a gift for writing, and that's why the enemy is trying mm. to hinder your your writing gift right now. So if that's you, just just type it in, or, or I'll just wait and see. It could be somebody that watches the replay, but uh, I want to give them time to answer. Lord, we just continue to release the glory. Mm. Just let your presence touch them. Mm. Just shift them into a new season. Just shift them into a new season. Mm. I see people changing seasons right now into fruitfulness that they've been sowing and sowing yeah. and sowing and sowing and sowing. I just see fruitfulness mm. returning in the name of Jesus. I've never so, called this out before, but I but I see this right now. What's that shoulder joint better right now? Right upper right arm right muscle, muscle tightness, I think tightness. is what she said. Yeah, so we just speak to that shoulder. Just, just I just thank you for the year, the author and yeah. the finisher. What you'll start, you'll finish. And we speak to that shoulder, just complete healedness, our complete wholeness right now in Jesus' name. We just release it and we just command that tightness to be loosed right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I just thank you for the anointing that breaks the yoke right now in her life, right now in I just Jesus' name. command all stiffness out of. Uh... I see all stiffness going in the name of Jesus. And I see arthritis. The root is rejection. I command that root of rejection. Yeah. That, that arthritis yeah. right out of you right now. 
in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I'm telling you, uh, Eric just typed in John 15, and that's where it's at. I mean, I love it when we get on here and we see that we see this, we see the miracles happen just instantaneously. But, but abiding in the vine, I'm telling you, when you abide in the Amen. vine, there's healing in the vine. If the root is holy, you're holy. If the root is healing, it, he is healing, you're healed. I'm telling you, just abiding in the vine and just just waiting on the Lord. And I'm telling you, we're going to keep calling out words. And all. I have one that I want to be sensitive here. I've never called this out before, but I feel like someone's going to, it may be on here right now that's, that's, that's dealing with transgender thoughts right now. And, and we love each and every person, but man, we want to see every person set free from any yeah. demonic attack mm -hmm. over their mindsets. And so I just thank you. We just speak the Romans 12 too. I just thank you. We just speak the love of God over them right yeah, now. We speak on. the love of God over them right now, the thank goodness. You, you are loved. You are valued. I'm telling you right now, those, those people that did not honor you in that season, I'm telling you that, 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 you, that just forgive them. I'm telling you right now, it's hard to do that right now, but just you have to let that go right now in Jesus' name. So we speak to that. We thank you for Romans 12 to the renewing of the mind coming upon them right now. Not, not being conformed to this world, not being conformed to this world, but being transformed by the renewing of your mind right now being transformed into that exact same image of Christ. We just release that over there. I thank you that we just come against any thought processes right now that the enemy is coming against. We break every assignment of the enemy over those thought processes right now in Jesus' name. And I just thank you. We just ask for your love Jesus. and your peace and your joy encountering them right now in their very house, just as they watch their screen right now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. So somebody's got on hernias and high blood sugar. <laughs> well, we just come together in unity. Yeah. Thank you, Lord, that you're just shrinking those hernias right now. Right we now. Just command them to dissolve. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ, we just speak to that pancreas. Right now. Food. Right now. Just command creative order. I'll shock Jesus name. Off system i just declare that shock that your body's been going through yeah if somebody's on here we just Whoa. demand that to be made whole right now Ooh. all shock go somebody's on here right now and you have been gone you've went through a betrayal you've gone through some shock and you're experiencing health problems as a result so i break that shock off of you right now jesus in the name. name of jesus we send in an eviction notice yeah speak the love of the father over your heart Mm. over your heart and I, just, it's, I see almost like an upper respiratory like um it's it's really just attacks your immune system so i speak over your immune system right now i just speak life and health to it in the name of jesus guys share this people are getting healed on here people are getting set free right now like and share this right now if you if you know someone that needs healing in their body just 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 tag them in it right now just tag them in this just down below in the comments right now and, and, and i just go ahead yeah now, I just uh, want to be obedient to the Holy Spirit, too, because the Holy Spirit told me, Aaron, you have a high level of encounter realms. So I want you to just kind of impart that, you know, and I, I want to share, you know, Aaron yeah. and, and, and his ministry and his son is, is going to Africa. They're still raising money. You need $1,300. $1,300 is what we need to meet our goal. Yeah, yeah. They're going to Malawi in 13 days yeah. to help with souls. So yeah. this is blessing you or you've been healed. I'm going to share the PayPal at the end of this. But just consider sowing into what they're doing, especially to the nations. You know, we're commanded to go to the nations. Yeah. But if you yeah. can go, you can sow. Yeah, and come on. So you're, you're, you're saving somebody's soul. You're saving their life. Yeah. You know, you're allowing them to, to, to be a blessing to the nations. So I just want to say if the Holy Spirit speaks to you, just consider that tonight. Yeah. To sow into their Africa trip. Because especially your son, I just see a huge yeah. shift. How old is he? He's 13. Yeah. I just see a huge shift and he carries a heavy weighty healing anointing. Yeah. I just declare that mm. over him right now in the name of Jesus. There's something that's going to come alive in your son. Come on. I, I just see it's, it's even more than healing. I see miracles. Ooh. I see a faith come on your son. What's his name? Luke. Luke, that's so awesome. I just see, Lord, I just declare what I see in the seer realm right now. I just declare faith for miracles yeah. over Luke right now and, and divine protection and provision. Lord, I just thank you for those that have been blessed by tonight or healed or touched in any way by the glory that they just show into Africa because, man, yeah. Lord, 
souls. You know, if you can't think of any better reason to sow, sow into souls. <laughs> That's Father's heart. Yeah, That's come on. Father. Come. But, uh, yeah, just I, I know we flow in and out of the prophetic. Talk about <laughs> your favorite miracle in uh, Africa. Go for it. Oh, man. Uh, there's, wow. know, there's so many. It's hard. We, to we love to equip, and Beth shared that. So go back and watch uh, the, the mm -hmm. when my wife was on here. There was an amazing time of equipping. Uh, in, mm -hmm. in the Sunday service, uh, we saw some incredible, incredible things during street ministry. And uh, it was really the Lord. We saw uh, necks healed, knees healed, uh, people healed and give their life to the Lord. But it was really, I prayed the presence of God, the love of God and the peace of God over them. And people just shrank. They just, they just, they just shrunk the bush on the ground. Amen. And I just asked, I just asked them, I said, do you want more of that? And, and they said, everyone said yes. And uh <laughs> And uh, so I said, I, I prayed again and the Lord increased it. And I said, you want to carry that everywhere that you go? And they said, they said, yes. And then they give their life to Jesus. And then we would talk to them and I go to the next person. And it was the whole day. We saw, we saw, I, I believe over 40 people healed during the street ministry in the time Amen. we were there. And it was an amazing, it was an amazing time just by, by releasing the glory, releasing the presence, releasing God's love over these people. It was amazing. Even a Muslim man we, we, we met, uh, he said, yes, he wanted more, and we prayed more, and he could hardly stand under the weighty glory. But he knew that it might cost him his life. But the sad thing was that he didn't know that if he didn't give his life to Jesus, it was going to cost him his life anyway. And so that was, that was the one thing that I, that, I, that, I, that I didn't see come to pass, but it encourages me because it's, it's, Jesus truly is the desire of the nations. Come I'm on. telling you. And yeah, I, I'm yeah. going to read this yeah. real quick if I can. It, I'm just going to yeah, read. Go for it. Everybody reads this, but I'm telling you what, I just really believe it. This is Isaiah 60. It says, Arise and shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. No. For behold, darkness will cover the earth, and deep darkness the people, but the Lord will rise upon you, and as if glory will appear unto, upon you, nations will come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your rising. I'm telling you right there, I believe the Lord that nations will come to us. That's the body of Christ. Nations will come to us because Jesus is the desire of the nations. This is all about Amen. souls. We're positioning Jesus. ourselves this year. We're truly believing as a family to see 100,000 souls come into on. the kingdom this year. We're, 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 uh, we're, we're going and being part of, uh, of this crusade and, and another one later on this year. Uh, I'm going to. And so we're positioning ourselves. We're serving other ministries where they're seeing incredible signs, wonders, and miracles. Amen. And specifically, the greatest miracle of all is harvest. I love the glory Amen. meetings. I love everything. But the glory Amen. meetings have to transform us to a place where we go Amen. out and we be the hands Jesus. and feet of Jesus. We've got to go out. That's it. We've got to go out and do this stuff. And so the street ministry was probably my favorite. The first night I did meet a guy, it comes up. Uh, uh, I didn't have an interpreter with me. And... Uh, <laughs> The, the pastor that I went out on street ministry ends up finding me in the last row on the first night. And this guy is sitting here with his friends, arms crossed, not having any of it. And I go up to him and, and, and I said, you, have you given your life to Jesus? And he says, yes. And Holy Spirit told me no. <laughs> that he, that he, that he had. And so I said, can I, can I pray for you? And he, and, he, and, he said, and he said, yes. He, he, I start praying for him. Just the same thing, the presence of God, the power of God. He hits the ground so hard, I think his friends thought he died. I'm not kidding you. He would, poof. It was, the pastor was looking at me. His eyes were huge like I had never seen, personally never seen anyone go down so hard. He gets up and about, they help him up. He's stumbling, can't stand up. He's just, the glory of God is on him. And I said, glory wrecking. Yeah, I said, I said, he, he was not hurt. For you guys that aren't listening, he was not hurt at all. He was getting, he was getting blasted. The Lord was just blessing him, and he gets up, and I said, you want to give your life to Jesus? He says, yes, I want, I want this Jesus. And so, uh, you know, he truly is the desire of the nations. People stand back because they have not seen the demonstration and power of the gospel. Too often we present it to them in a way that we, we tell them about the goodness, but we don't show them the goodness. Jesus was always about to tell him, but he always demonstrated oh, also. Amen. Come on. And so we want so to tell true. him, but we want to demonstrate. We want to leave room for the demonstration and power of the gospel. Yeah. And so that's what I honor about your guys' ministry. And I wanted to ask, what are you doing tomorrow? Where are you flying out to tomorrow? <laughs> I've gone to Women on the Front Lines. I'm so excited. You know, I'm, I'm getting ordained under Patricia. Come Gaines, on. Just something the Lord put under my heart. And, that's awesome. Uh, it, it's so funny because the one question they asked me, she's like, I see you do this and you minister in this and you minister in that, but what is your why? 
And at the end yeah. of the day, it's always about harvest. Come on, the that's it. The miracles are great. The miracles are awesome. And that's why I love you guys. At the end of the day, it's all about souls. Yep, that's right. You know, because, you know, glory's awesome and glory brings in the harvest yes. too. Yes. But uh, I, I, just, I just believe in the, the Lord for a new season, a new wave of harvest. Yeah. It's already, I mean, we see it happening everywhere, but you can just, if you're a seer, you can see in the seer realm, yeah. you know, it's the yeah. harvest coming in the, the builds are right you yeah know, you just have to go and that's what i love about you guys uh, you know y'all just go and, and you know it's it's commanded yeah you know, to go. If you yeah can't go, so and you just it's the father's heart yeah come on can i share this quick testimony yeah man, uh, I, I woke up the other day it's about a week and a half ago and i woke up at 429 i woke up at 429 i'm gonna fine. read the i'm like lord what is that and he says Mo, i hear i hear mark and I, mm -hmm. so i go to mark 429. I just read that last week. <laughs> Come on. That's when I got this dream was last week. Same Holy Ghost, I'm telling you. Same, yeah, same listen, thing. listen to this. But oh when the God. crop permits, he immediately puts in the sickle because the harvest has come. come on. And so I saw this on the clock. What's the clock? It's time. It's time for the harvest. It it's is. time for the sickle. It Bigger is. nets and longer sickles right now. Mm -hmm. And I wake up and I'm telling my wife about this, Beth, about this. And she says, you wouldn't believe where I'm reading. I'm reading in Mark, Mark 4, 4 right now. <laughs> and on. so I'm telling you right now, we're, we're entering into the harvest. It's been prophesied. Yeah. You know, the biggest harvest yeah. this world has ever seen. And that's what it's all about. And and today, I, this this is what the Lord said. I, I, today is 6-3. It's 6-3. It's June 3. I'm like, Lord, he highlighted it to me. I said, what is that, Lord? What is that? Uh -huh. He says, Isaiah. And we can read all of Isaiah 6, and it's amazing, but Come it's on. what we're talking about. But this is this is what he says. Let me flip to it real quick. And, and it says, holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, we skip down to 8, and it's just what we're talking about right now. It says, yeah. it's, it's Isaiah, and he says, the Lord says, whom shall I send? Who will go for us? Then I said, here I am, send me. Just what we said earlier, God's not looking for golden vessels. He's not looking for silver vessels. He's looking for willing vessels that will say, I will go, Come send on. me. Who will carry my glory to the nations? Who will carry my glory Come to on. the neighborhoods? Who will Amen. take, you know, some people will go to Pakistan before they'll go to their neighbor's house. And Come I'm on. telling you. Right now that we need to get a heart. I'm telling you, if you want to operate in the power, demonstration and power of the Holy Spirit, it all works through love. And you need to cultivate a love for those people that are standing in front of you. If you want to operate in words of knowledge and at Walmart and the line, you need to cultivate a love for your city. Cultivate yeah. a love for that person Amen. at the register. I'm telling you, that's what it's all about. Compassion and love. Mm. Yeah, and, and the more you love the Father, you yeah. know, the, the stuff that we're doing tonight, shoulder pain gone, muscle pain gone, we just thank you. Come on, Jesus. It's all about yeah. Jesus. It's all about his yeah. presence touching people on mm. earth. So, Lord, we just ask you to finish it up. And that person with carpal tunnel, Lord, yeah. I just declare that, that right now in the name of Jesus that the wrists are healed. In the name of Jesus, I just break that assignment to come against the writing gift. And Lord, yeah. I think you, when even they play the replay, or if you're on here, just say yes, that they feel the fire of God touch their their wrist. And Lord, I just call forth that that book. You know, I just went yeah. to the bookstore the other day, and my God, some of the stuff I see in the bookstore, I'm calling out the Christian writers. Come on, so I, come on, come on. It's time. It's time. Stories and. You know, I, I got somebody looking at a discerning of spirits book that I wrote it and waiting for it to be edited and stuff. Come on. But the body of Christ, Lord, we just declare the writer army. Lord, yeah. Yes. In the name of Jesus, I just impart that scribe anointing, Lord, for for anybody on here who has a call to write. We need some Holy Ghost, especially youth. You feel called to to youth books. You know, there was so much darkness in the. Uh, actual book aisle for teenagers like it's just aisle after aisle and i just thought man we got to be the light we got to be yeah the salt. lord i call i just went in the intercession so we just say lord cultivate it if somebody's on here lord just activate them through a dream speak yeah to their heart whatever it takes just allow them to, to step out and you might say i don't know how to write a book i've never done it you know what do i do sit down with the holy spirit and write a thousand words a day every single day every single day every single wow. day every single day and you can edit it later just flow i feel that just allow wow. the, holy spirit, yeah. the holy ghost to use you and just don't don't turn back you know just keep pressing i just see a, like the breaker anointing going out for writers Woo. yeah come on 
Come on. And I was feeling I was feeling that while you were while you were uh, you were you speaking. Your first book just kept popping in. I know we're talking about books, but is there anybody with fibromyalgia? Correct. Beth read your book and was wrecked by your book. It was amazing. I'm telling you, go and get her. Go and get her. Go and get her book. But uh, wait wait to my miracle. Go wait. Yes. And so, if there's anybody that's dealing with that right now, just type that in. If that if you're dealing with that, I, I'm sure you pray for that all the time. But I felt that I just kept seeing your Amen. book Calling as out. we were Amen. as we were speaking. So if that's you, if you're dealing with fibromyalgia, we're gonna we would love to pray for you right now. Yeah. Amen. April has a great authority over that. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, that, that's what gave me the passion. You know, um, I, what gave me the passion is I just love Jesus. I just yeah. found Jesus and he wrecked my life. <laughs> the fact yes. that he gave me a miracle, you know. Come and, on. And, I, and in the book, I describe how I had to get all these religious yeah. crap out of my mind, that if God's in a good day, he'll heal me. And I've done everything <laughs> right. Like, I had all this theology and I won't even go to what denomination of churches I used to go yeah. to. I had to unlearn like everything I've ever been taught. And uh, but it was God's faithfulness. I had no faith for miracles to happen. Wow. Just his I goodness. Wow. Oh, I just come had on. zero. And I had been bedridden and mm. you can get the details in the book. It's on Amazon, get away from my miracle. Wow. And I was bedridden and in pain. I had pain every day of a 10. I couldn't sleep at night for months. Mm. I had got injections in my neck. And um, I, I just, it was like torment. Lorraine. I could never sleep. L my mother's name is Lorraine. That, it's just, yeah. As we keep telling your testimony, though, that's going to build. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I just, I just, I was in so much pain. It's indescribable. It's like your nerve system's on high wire. You know, I don't know any other way to say it. And a lot of times, you know, I was going, I went through a difficult season in my life with trauma and stuff that had happened. And I was like, God, you know, I was just for years, I cried out for my miracle. I cried out. I couldn't give up. I had this person pray for me and that person pray for me. And God, why ain't I healed? It was something I'd done and just da, 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 da. one thing after the next. And somebody prayed for me. I fell on the ground and it broke. Wow. You know, you know wow. it's such a long, drawn out season. And, and I just, I'm thanking the Lord for restoration for me mm. and my family that uh, that was a long season, but greater is he that is in us. And if, if you have been yeah. crying out for your miracle and asking for it and then having people do not lose heart. I talk about that in my book. You know, just because you got prayed for this time doesn't mean cultivate that atmosphere. Yeah. Of glory. Sing that song to the Lord because yeah. it, as you cultivate the atmosphere for the glory, the Lord can set you free right there sitting in your bed. Yeah. You know, because you're worshiping, you're allowing him to move and, Go ahead, Aaron. I'll just agree with yeah, you. Yeah, so Lorraine, we just break that off. Uh, we break that off right now infirmity. in Jesus' name. We break that infirmity off right now. We, we speak trauma. the Bible, my asthma, right now, yeah. and we command it to flee right now. Yeah, all trauma, every every effect, Stress. every 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 bit. Yeah, <laughs> you, you know all the symptoms. I'm just speaking to it in faith. I mean, sometimes you've got greater faith for things that you don't know when you don't know the whole story. Amen. And I tell you what right now, so we just speak to that fibromyalgia every uh -huh. single uh, assignment yeah. of the enemy coming against her right now. We break it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We just plead the blood of Jesus over her, every single cell of her body from the top of her head yeah. to the bottom of her feet right now in the mighty yeah. name of Jesus. And if you can get back about your mom to us, we would love that. Give us a yeah, testimony yeah. of how your mom's doing. We're believing and we're standing for the breakthrough in Lorraine's life right now in yeah. Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, Lord, we just we just erase the cellular memory yeah. from trauma right Come on. now. And yeah. see the Lord doing that. We just command all trauma from rejection, all trauma from yes. abandonment to be uh, released from the cells right now in the name of yeah. Jesus. Because yeah. you know, some, one of the other things I find that kind of hinder the glory in people's life is they're afraid to go to the Lord. Yeah. Have you ever seen yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because of rejection, trauma, yeah. disappointment, hurt, heartache. You know, yeah, yeah, and it, it's it, it, it's it's sad. Just like my pride issue, because the Lord knows all of it, and He's so good, and He's always He's the only person that's every time He's going to steward our hearts right. He's the one that we can trust. He's the one that we can go to. He's the one that we can be completely undone in front of. That we can be be just so. He, his Father heart has nothing but love for you. And I'm telling you, you just open your heart to him and he will he will heal each and every area, each and every wound that's happened. It, oh, I'm getting wrecked. Just talk. I can't talk about the father's love. I'm going to start just weeping. It's going to be bad. It's going to be really, really good, but it's going to look bad. I know. Even in the glory, I can't oh. get off inner healing. Or, mm. or, I mean, so much yeah. happens. I mean, 
everything about yeah. intimacy with the father. Yes, it's what it's you, about. You just, it's, it's really, truly what it's about. Yeah. But even as I was on here, I was almost overwhelmed by the Holy Spirit's emotion to break off shame. Yes. Ooh. We just command all shame to be broken off of you right now. Right now. Ooh. Jesus name. Jesus Ooh, name. I see years of shame. Yes. Off people. If that's you, just receive it right now in the name of Jesus. And we just speak over them. Honor. honor yes. Honor. honor. Yes. That the years the locust has stolen would just be restored to you right yes. now. I just feel another wave of the glory coming. Yeah. Lord, just release it over them right now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I just fear the fear, fear of the Lord right now. Yeah. Wow. You. Thank you. Holy Ghost. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, Ter Taryn also was on here, and she was healed of fiber. God feel, healed her of fibromyalgia also. And so we just thank you for that, Lord. There's two testimonies. I'm telling you what God will do for one, Lorraine. He's doing for you right now. And we just declare it done right now in Jesus' yeah. name. Wow. And as we'll say, the glory's here right yeah. now. If, you, if there's something we haven't called out and you need prayer for, just, just type it in. Um, over the, Even if it's something, and it doesn't matter what it is, whether it's deliverance, healing, miracle, just just. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, trailers. I receive it right there. Yeah, thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Whoa. So I, I think it, the, the fear of the Lord is just showing up right now. I just yeah. feel it's so strong, and it's not an unhealthy fear. But maybe just just reach out your hand and yeah. just see, Lord. I just received the fear of the Lord. Just yeah. The fear of the Lord come in my life. It's just, it's a holiness. Yeah. It's an all. I don't know. You got a different way to explain it. No, it's, it it's, it's the beginning of wisdom. <laughs> it's the beginning of wisdom right now. And so I'm telling you right now with this, with what's being released right now, I'm telling you there's wisdom and revelation that's going to come upon your life through the releasing of the fear of the Lord. And so right now, that's it. That's it. We just release that right now. And we thank you thank for you. wisdom and revelation coming into their lives right now. We just speak that, what we spoke earlier, that Ephesians, you, a spirit of wisdom and revelation would come up upon them that the eyes of their heart would be open right now i just thank you for spiritual mm -hmm. senses right now being open right now just to not just the seeing and the hearing but or the knowing but the smelling and even the tasting and seeing that he Amen. is good the feeling the knowing that he is good and and, and that's what we release that to that just that seer yeah. realm of dreams and visions thank too you. come on dreams and visions right now i just yeah. thank you for that thank we didn't talk Lord. about visions a whole lot but we just release that yeah. realm right now in Jesus name I thank you that you would pour out your spirit on your servants and your handmaidens on your on your on your sons and your daughters that they all yeah. may prophesy that they all may have dreams and visions I just thank you for that being released yeah. upon them that you would even encounter them this very night in a dream yes, and in a vision yeah. And I'm telling you, that's when re wisdom and revelation became, came in my life that I was getting these visions. One day, one time uh, I was on a fast and you don't have to fast to receive it. But this is a testimony I feel to share. I, I laid down my daughter every wow. afternoon for 30 straight days. I'm not exaggerating. It wasn't the full 40, but 30 straight days. The room began wow. to vibrate and I would go into quick visions. Some were long, but I call them quick visions, little snapshots. And I'm like, Amen. Lord, what are these? I always ask where are those. <laughs> sometimes I would get the interpretation. So, sometimes I, I didn't. And that's what, but, but what happened was at the end of this, just like we said earlier, that scriptures were beginning to be tied together. Wisdom and revelation was coming behind me. He was bypassing my analog. He was bypassing my analytical thinking and it was getting into my spirit it was getting into my true mind we have the Amen. mind of christ i was getting out of my own mind and into the mind of christ i'm telling you we have the fullness of the mind of christ and we just need to tap into that and i tell you for me the lord uses visions and dreams to do that the realm of vision. yeah and I, I just see the lord touching hip sockets again. come on lord, come on whatever their hip sockets is right now we just command creative alignment Ooh. yeah right now jesus right now i think it's when you had your child Maybe during the birthing, things got rotated and it's caused you a little back pain, yeah, right now, soreness, and you've been wondering why your back's weak. So, we just command that that creative order to that back right now. We command that hip into complete and total alignment in the name of Jesus. And uh, just as you were imparting, Aaron, the, the dreams and visions, 
You know, um, if it's in the Bible, I believe we can have it. <laughs> That's you know, right. That's it. It's, it's the word of God. Yeah. And, there's, and I, I know this could be controversial, but I just am who the Holy Spirit made me to be. But I, I've had a, a trance one time. It was Come on. Spirit Come on. Yeah. I didn't initiate it. I didn't make it happen. I just allowed Holy Spirit to do what Holy Spirit wants to do. And I just feel led to impart that yeah. right now. Come on. I, I just see a coming back of Mariah Woodward. Yes. And the Holy Spirit spoke to me about that today, yes. about her her mantle and and just what she carried. So, Lord, we just declare right now in the name of Jesus for trances, Lord, that you're bringing back that trance evangelist yeah. anointing, Lord God, where people see Jesus, they have encounters with Jesus, they have they just have great breakthroughs. Whoa! Yeah, I just see the breakthrough happening for people. Come on, right now. Right now. Whoa, right now, just to release that, that, that breakthrough in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I see breakthrough yeah. in finances happening Come on, right, right now, now Lord. Right Come now. on. Thank you, Jesus. Breakthrough in finances. Whoa. I, I see that. I, I felt like I was good. Finish up. Finish up. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. yeah go ahead. No, I, I, I felt like I was going to share this today, but it never opened up till right now. I'm not going to share the whole testimony, but I'm telling you, yeah, yeah. a homeless person that I was ministering to out on the street, got a job, got a house. But he had lost the, lost the house. He had lost the house. Wow. And, and, and he I had lost the job and was getting kicked out of his house. And he came and uh, he yelled at me for an hour. Literally, this is what happened. I was so, so just the Holy Spirit was just saturating me. Uh, I was just blasted by the Holy Spirit. And I was just sitting there just, just, I didn't even hear him yelling. And at the end, he allowed me to pray for him. And uh, I knew the spirit of anger. I knew I knew I had to deal with anger. I knew there were things that I needed to deal with, but I just blessed them and I spoke prosperity over. Him. I spoke this, oh, the Lord's blessing over him. And uh, I didn't know all that took place. Two days later, he comes back. He says, you didn't know this, <laughs> but I was came to yell at you and I came to yell at God. And then I was going to go take my life. And he says, wow. he says, he says, something broke when you prayed for me. Yeah. And, and he came up riding on a brand new bike. He was asking the Lord for a bike to be able to ride around town. And he said, my friend told me I won a contest. I won a contest, and I won this. 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 I'm not going to tell what it was because it'll give away who, maybe who it was to some of the people that know yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. But he won twenty six thousand dollars two on. days later. It has nothing to do with me, but God's goodness being poured out of me for the Come next on. two weeks. He came back two weeks later, and he says, "Why?" Am I being so blessed? And I got to tell him because God loved him and I, and I just poured out yeah. just the father's heart. And I'm telling you, that's what it's about. The father's love will break all of that, thing, all everything off. It doesn't matter what it is. Just the perfect love casts out all fear. Perfect yeah. love is, is what operates the gifts. It's what it's all about. Intimacy with the Lord to where we cultivate that relationship, to where we have that love to impart to other people, I'm telling you. And I've yeah. got testimony after testimony of financial breakthroughs. So I'm, I agree with April, and we just released that. Yeah. And I feel yeah. like there's a breakthrough that someone needs a large amount of money on here right now, and we're just going to believe the Lord to come through in an, in an extraordinary yeah. way right now. So we just released the Thank blessings you, of God. We just released you, just Jesus. breakthrough for their finances right now in Jesus' name. We just speak Thank against you. the devourer that's been coming against their finances right now. And Thank I thank you. you for that breakthrough right now. I thank you for that thank breakthrough you. right now so that they can travel. And I feel like it's even traveled to, to, to spread the gospel. We just speak to Come that on. right now. If someone is, 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 is asking for seed for the sower so that they can go sow, they can go sow and water into people's lives right now. I just thank you for that right now, Lord, the breakthrough from there where the enemies came against their finances. We just speak your blessing upon them. Your extravagance over the top, more than they can hope, ask, or imagine blessing in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And I, I just feel the Holy Spirit's heart right now. Everything that we're doing here, it's all about being a son and daughter of God. That's we right. Do everything that me and Aaron yeah. are doing right here. So if you were healed tonight, yeah. I challenge you. I just felt the Holy Spirit yeah. say, release this challenge. Go lay your hands on somebody that's That's sick. right. Ooh. That's right. And then go to the grocery store. Go to Walmart. It doesn't matter, you know, if they receive it or if they don't keep pressing yeah. into this, because if you are healed, the Holy Spirit's going to use you. Yeah. And, and me and Aaron will just impart to you right now that that healing anointing. We, we just just impart whatever you feel led to Aaron. But whatever I have that, yeah. that freely Holy Spirit that you've given me that anybody yeah. on here needs, I just impart it to them for their kingdom assignments. Blue. Yeah, we just I release that. Discerning of spirits coming out right now. In the name of Jesus, I see people's a seer anointing yeah. coming up higher. 
right now in the name of Jesus, dreams. I see dream after dream after, Lord, I declare the deliverance keys. Yes, come on. Come on. Come to these people in dreams that are watching right now in areas that have been stubborn and hard. I thank you, Lord, that your dreams give them that breakthrough. And I, and I just want to say this right now. We're, I feel like really miracles, someone is going to step into the realm of miracles that's really been asking the Lord about it right now. But I want to say this. It always begins in my family. The Lord begins it in my family. It doesn't mean I see every miracle in my family, but it's stewarded. When we broke out into signs and wonders, it happened first in my own house. It, it came first in my prayer closet, our, our prayer closet, our, our time in our family. And what we steward in the, in the secret place, the Lord will let us display in the open. And so I'm telling you right now, if you want to, through an impartation, when an impartation, just what April said, you need to go out and you need to use the things that the Lord is imparting to you. And so we just, I just release that for the realm of miracles, signs and wonders yes. right now. I just thank you for that yes. release. Holy Spirit, I just thank you for those people that are hungering and thirsting mm -hmm. for that, that they would meet you in the secret place that you would encounter them in the secret place through dreams and visions, just downloading things to them. I just thank you for a greater, we just impart that hunger and thirst we were talking about earlier, because that's what it's yeah. all about. Hunger and thirst for more intimacy with you right now in Jesus' name. I just thank you that, that you just release that. You just release the hunger and thirst upon your people. And I just thank you that, like we said earlier, I just thank you that you that, that your people would take the first bite, Lord. I just thank you for yeah, that. I just amen. thank you that they would take the first bite and they will open their mouths and you will fill it in Jesus' name. That's right. And you are the temple. I just yeah. want to end Come on. this and, and just say that you are the temple of the Holy Spirit. He wants his glory to pour into you. So to keep pressing in to his glory, keep worshiping, use the keys that Aaron talked about. Do fasting if you feel led to fast, if you feel led to, to get yeah. in the word or, or just worship. Just worship until you feel his presence. And yeah. I, I challenge you to just worship until you feel his presence and just wait. Wait upon the Lord. Wait for his presence to show up. Sing the new song that Aaron was talking yeah. about. Just worship yeah. him. Whatever the Lord gives you, he could give you your very song of breakthrough. He could yeah. give you the very song for your deliverance. He could give you the very song for your miracle because he knows what you need. He, you know, he's the, he knows everything. He's omniscient. So it's just like press mm -hmm. in. Yeah. You have to press in. I think that's one of the things, you know, over and over and over with, with talking to all different personalities on here and, and everybody moves and flows differently, but everybody commonly kept pressing into it that's been on. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Come on. So I, I just want to say if this has been a blessing to you tonight, I just challenge the people watching. If you've been touched, healed, or you feel like you need to sow into the impartation because you felt the anointing, just, just we're going to post their PayPal soul into the heart, so into the harvest. You know, I, I just feel like, um, th th I just call that money that they need for this trip paid off in the name of Jesus. Yes. I just declare Amen. every dime, every cent for the harvest that it's, it's fruitful ground. Yeah. I love their character. I love their church. I love the way they're, they're just stewarding the signs. They're stewarding the glory. They're stewarding the wonders and they're just going after Jesus. Yeah. So if you just feel led, just go for it. And Aaron, I just want to thank you for being on here tonight. It's such an honor. Uh, I had a great time. I have to do it again. Come on. I have to Come do it on. Again and just, just let people get healed and, and send I love your it. testimonies in. Yeah, just, come on. We just bless every healing that yes. just started tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We just Thank declare you, Jesus. the glory to finish it up tonight. Yeah. People would wake up in your presence. Oh, yeah. Presence yeah. Oh, yes. Mm. It's like the best present there could be on earth, I think. So, Lord, if it was anybody that was touching the glory that, that you're just finishing up their, their miracle. I just thank you for miracles in the night season. They just wake up in your presence and they yeah. experience the Father's love and the yeah. intimacy. It's all about Jesus. Yes. It's all about the intimacy with the Father. Yeah. So we just say, be blessed. And, uh, get wrecked in the glory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks so much for having me on. It's been a blast. Uh, <laughs> you're welcome. We love you guys. I right, love you guys too. <laughs> thanks. And everybody, that is another glory story for you. So I would just like to challenge you on the different things that you heard my guest talk about on the glory today to just get alone with God and ask him to help you cultivate his presence in your everyday life and see what kind of glory story that God wants you to be a part of.